In this chapter, we will learn how to use even more of the professional editing tools on a multi-layer timeline. This is a brief overview of some complex editing techniques. These advanced concepts are discussed in greater detail in Complete Training for Avid Studio, which can be purchased on the Avid website. Let's start with the default project. First, let's open the audio mixer and click on Surround Panning. Now move the sound to the left speaker, and then to the right with the ball. These movements can also be animated using keyframes for changes over time. Just move your playhead to different parts of the clip, then adjust the blue ball. It's that easy. Let's make a fade in and out on this audio clip. We will use the rubber band for adjusting volume with some control points. Hold down the control key on your keyboard and click near the head of the clip to create your fade in. This ramp on the green line represents the fade up of the volume. Play this clip and you will hear the fade up. Now do the same at the end of the clip. To adjust the overall volume of the clip, raise and lower the center of the line between the two fades. Avid Studio now gives you a choice on how you want to edit. Avid Studio has three different editing modes depending on your needs and experience level. Most people will use the smart mode where Studio will automate some tasks for you. However, if you have experience with other editing programs, then the overwrite mode or the insert mode may better suit your needs. Whether you are in Smart Editing Mode, Overwrite Mode, or Insert Mode, all have different consequences for trimming and dragging clips to the timeline. You can toggle between these editing styles by selecting them from the Mode Options drop-down menu. When using the Insert Mode, Clips following the trim points on the same track will be pulled or pushed into position to accommodate the new length of the trimmed clip. In the overwrite mode, only the clips you are trimming and neighboring clips, as they are overwritten, will be changed. In smart mode, Avid Studio decides between Insert or Overwrite depending on the type of action you are doing. Next, let's make what's called an Adjust Trim. Move your cursor on the inside of the clip until it changes to an arrow. Click and drag. Adjust Trim is represented by the green handle on this clip. Notice, in Smart Mode, Adjust will always be done in Overwrite and will overwrite neighboring clips if trimmed into their space. Now let's get fancy and trim on three tracks. This will allow us to keep in sync on all tracks while trimming. Click once on the head of the three clips. Yellow handles will appear. Trim any of them, and you will see that you are trimming all three clips while keeping everything after the trim 
in sync. A simple tip to stay in sync during complex timeline trimming is to always open one trim point on each track. That way when you trim one track, all will trim and stay in sync. For your information, you can trim a clip or a gap. As long as each track has one open trim point, everything downstream will stay in sync. When you're in the trim mode, you can use the buttons under the preview to trim one frame, 10 frames, or loop around the trim. You can close out of the trim mode using the trim mode button on the toolbar or clicking away from a trim point in a gap area. Let's show you another professional tip. Copy and paste the effects from a different clip to this one. Simply right click on the purple line, select Effect, Copy All. Then do the same with the new clip and paste. It's that easy. Avid Studio is indeed a flexible editing program. It is powerful, yet easy to use for the novice editor, but includes the advanced features that professionals have come to expect from Avid. Hello, I'm Paul Holtz from Class On Demand. This introductory chapter gave you a quick look at the creative power and flexibility of Avid Studio. If you'd like to learn more about creating your movies with the same high quality production polish used in the latest Hollywood blockbusters, then order your copy of Class on Demand's complete training for Avid Studio on Avid's website. On behalf of Avid and Class on Demand, thanks for watching.